Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bot. It's vlogist day. Who knows what? Uh, it's PAX day three, so it's the Sunday at PAX. Um, I've been wandering and looking at things and demoing things and playing games and dancing all night, and it's been really fun. Um, so uh, people keep asking me how I get all the energy. It's because I steal it from the rest of the week. For the rest of the week, I will be pretty well tired. Um, but I've been going nonstop all month anyway. So <laughs> uh, PAX is really cool. It's a very loud convention, so I start losing my voice usually right away. And this year, day three, I still have a voice, so apparently I'm not playing enough games because it means I'm not talking. Um, I got to play Tumblestone, which is easily my favorite thing I've played video game-wise. Um, I talked about it a little bit. It's a racing game against your friends to solve puzzles. If I just could do that all day on tablet, I would be really, really happy and very distracted all the time. But it's not on tablets yet. I signed up to get their updates, so I will know. Um, for board games, we I had card games with me the first day. I brought like Koi Pond and um, Dead Drop and some other like light card games that would fit in my backpack. And we played well into the night for that one. We got kicked out of the convention center. Uh, <laughs> after hours because the people wanted to go home. Um, the second day, yesterday, I brought a lot of card games with me. I brought Koi Pond again because I really wanted to teach it and um, Codenames and Matanai and a bunch of other stuff and didn't end up playing a single one of those but I ended up in the prototype hall and played some games there. Played Kaiju City from Levi Moat. I previously did Ruse. I I knew I knew him because we speak on Twitter so much, and I sat down and I'm like, you know what, I have no idea what you designed before this. He mentioned Ruse, and I was like, oh, okay, I've, I've heard of that, yay, I've never played it though. Uh, Kaiju City was like a monster fighting game, you kind of, you spawn on a card on one side and they spawn on the other side, and you have to get to each other and kill each other. Um, not really my cup of tea, because I just, it's not my thing, but I like I like deterministic combat. I don't. There's no dice rolling or anything. You just deal the damage you can deal, and it's card management, really. Um, that could be skinned with any theme and still make it a very clever resource management game. Uh, we talked a little bit about what could change before it goes to print, and we both liked the idea of maybe tiles instead of cards to create the city, um, because. It, Whenever you use cards as a board that you have to create, it just makes a game feel a little bit cheap. And he's doing, like, he's going all out on the miniatures, like the, the monster, the fighting monsters. So I think tile tile would actually enhance it a lot. And we talked a little bit about the symbols in the game. Um, they were totally prototype symbols. I just let him know that I appreciate when people go for intuitive, generic symbols for damage, health, shields, those types of things, because it's just so much easier to jump into a game um, than trying to remember the new the new symbol that they have there. Um, I played a couple others. There was one guy there that had a game that was pretty well finished. I mean, I, after playing, I asked him, I was like, are you still looking for feedback? And he's like, no, I'm looking for a way to make my game a you know, published game, and I was like, yeah, that makes sense, because it didn't feel like a playtesting game. You can you can definitely tell when a game is in development, you can feel it, and this one was just so complete that it was just, I didn't even bother filling out a, a form for him, I just let him know one, one card didn't really scale with the player count, but, <coughs> pardon me, my throat is very, very dry. Um, so for video games, there's a main big hall, there's an exhibition floor, and there is a indie kind of annex up at the sixth floor that used to be very chill. In fact, that's for like two two or three packs in a row, that's basically where I lived the whole time if I wanted to play any video games, because these were guys that were going to take time to talk to you and show you the game, and they were a little funkier, a lot more of the phone and tablet games used to be there. And this year, and this is information from my friends, so I don't know anything about this, he said there was a new engine that you can build video games on called Unreal, and that made it where so many more of these indie games were big 
Xbox type like console games. I was kind of sad there's so few tablet games this year. Um, but that's how I video game. I don't video game at all on console or on my computer. I just don't have time for it. If I'm not playing a board game, I'm shooting videos about board games. So I was a little disappointed how few tablet games we found, but um, Tumblestone easily like that, that once that's on a tablet that's all I'm gonna play forever um for board games uh, I I meant to spend the day wandering the board game hall and um seeing some friends and checking stuff out there's not there's no premieres or anything there's zero premieres at PAX but um I kind of got kind of peopled out there's just a lot of people there on a Saturday so instead I hid and went to lunch with friends and hung out with Brian a bit and for the evening, we went to the PAX um, Magic Party, where they do uh, some previews for the upcoming set. So in Battle for Zendikar, there are um, pretty cool duels. I People are so snarky about them. They come in to play tapped unless you have two basic lands. Um, but they are both land types, so like a mountain forest, like the original duels. It's a cool land cycle. I like them. Uh, but that party was a lot of people again. and Just... It's hard for me. I just need to be able to sit at a table and play a game. If there's that many people around and there's not play space, it was just, uh, you know, like, you say free food at PAX and it just, it brings a certain crowd. Uh, so we left there and we went dancing all night at the Mercury, which is a club up here. And um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, today is hopefully a little more video games. I'm, I want to try and find the, the new Pokemon thing. And then I want to spend the rest of the time on the second floor, which is the board game area, and see all my friends and maybe visit with them. And there's a ton of parties tonight, so uh, my friend Brittany is throwing a party, and then I will likely be at Pora Palooza, which is thrown up at Cuban Nightclub by a friend of mine, and then maybe karaoke after, but I'm not sure yet, because I do have to work tomorrow, and I'm... I'm so people doubt that a quiet night at home sounds really good, but I won't do that. I, I won't do that. I will quiet night at home tomorrow and <laughs> clean my poor house. Um, but I'm excited to play some more games today, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.